In Dagenham, Essex, our ace sewage team, Bill and Simon, are once again ready to demonstrate their skill. For them, a reported drain blockage isn't so much a problem, it's an opportunity. Hello. Hello. You called about a block drain? Yes, my auntie did. Your aunt did? OK, what is it? Is it the back drain? <laughs> I have no idea. You have no idea? Hmm, right. that's a problem. Getting at it is going to be the difficulty. The lady's gone out and she, we can't find the back door key, so we can't get out and have a look at the cover that's out in the garden. So now we're going to investigate so we can find the interceptor. They've got to get into the drain somehow. Look at the house. It would be coming out the side of the house, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh. Someone's built a stension on the side. It means someone's either built over the interceptor or we won't be able to gain access. So what we have to do is try and knock on the door, see if anyone's in, and see if there's a cover in the back garden. But the owner is out, and the lads are frustrated. They could do with some help. From a neighbour, perhaps. Have you got a cover in your back garden? So what do you mean? A man of sewage cover. Yeah. Is there any chance we can have a look? Yeah. Step this way. Follow him. One glance at the neighbour's drain, and Bill knows the source of the problem lies at the back of the first house. If there's a blockage here, it would have backed up all the way, and as you can see, it's just shallow, so it's got to be internal. The only way you can tell that is by gaining access to a cover, which is in the garden. No. Knowledge yeah, isn't but... everything. They know where the blockage is, but they can't get at it. Reluctantly, they'll have to leave the job unfinished. Back in Dagenham, Bill and Simon are determined that the next strain blockage will be well and truly defeated, and the owners at home... Hello, mate. Barton and Dagenham Council. ...and more than happy to help. All better uh, block sewer. Come to clear it for you. At last, Bill and Simon can get on with doing what they do best, clearing drains. Bill is now in his element. There's everything in that one. It's like stew, isn't it? Three feet deep is supposed to water in there. Eh? I don't want to swim in it, no? Well, um, <laughs> I don't think so, no, no. Simon's going to go and get the stick so we can stir it up. A touch of Bill's rod should soon sort out the problem. Simon appears to be pleased to be back from his honeymoon. He, he, he missed me for the two weeks I was away. Oh, no, he he ran up, cuddled me, you know, crying. He's like one of those little puppy dogs, you know. <laughs> With Simon now married, Bill wonders where it all went wrong for him. I am looking, but I don't think anyone likes me. No one loves me. Now it looks as if his work life is going haywire. Bill decides to raise the stakes. What we're going to do, we're going to send the jetter up, and what it does, it pushes out a volume of water. This is a serious bit, because that thing that he's got in his hand is highly dangerous. If it came out at him and hit him, he could either spend a good couple of weeks in hospital, or he'd be in the mortuary. Right, are you ready, dear? Yes, dear. Whatever it is down there, the jetter should do the trick. But the jetter isn't always the answer. It seems like I broke through it, but not enough, hope. Not enough. So we'll probably have to do send the jet back up there again. Maybe what we need is a change of personnel. We're swapping. swapping. Over. Bad time he got his hands dirty anyway. Simon might learn something here about marriage. It's not always about teamwork. Told ya. We can't do it with this, so we're going to go back to our yard and get another lorry that we've got and have a go with that. It's my beast, we're going to get my baby. Despite all their hopes, victory will have to be postponed. In Dagenham, Bill and Simon have some unfinished business. They think they've got the ultimate weapon. As you can see, we've got the better jet on, the bigger jet, and the bigger hose, and the powerful machine. The big one is forcing an enormous, powerful jet of water down the drain. But so far, without much effect. 
It's gone down, stayed at its level. Foiled again. <clears throat> Isn't it? Simon won't give up easily. He's determined to shift this blasted blockage. <laughs> But again, Simon is thwarted. It's gone directly back to that level again, isn't it? What do you want to do? The lads are now under pressure. The owner wants an answer. What we're doing now, we're going to just walk up the road to lift up another intercept, huh? another drain. Well, as you can see, this one is up and it's quite thick. So therefore, it tells us that the mains are up. So, after all that, the blockage is in the main sewer, which means it's beyond their reach. Right, and tell the gentleman the bad news. What I've done is I've checked down there, yeah. and the interceptor's up on that roll there. Yeah. So that means Thames Water, because of the mains up along there, so it's nothing to do with you, not your fault, it's just one of the things that happen. But the great grime fighter is always prepared to be philosophical. Well, disappointing job there, so we're going to go on to the next one and hopefully we'll be able to clear that one. In Dagenham, Bill and Simon are back where they started. This time, the owner is at home, and now they can go where they need to go. Hello, Barking and Dagenham sewer team, you've reported a sewer. Uh, that sewer is a drain. Well, we we come back here earlier and uh, we couldn't gain access because you lost the keys of the lane. Uh, you you lost the key. I no. Well, you went here. Is there any chance we can have a look now? Yes. Finally, there's a real chance that our team will succeed. It's clear. It's clear. Oh. So oh. if this one was full, See? that would be blocked. Yeah. But now we know it's just that that's blocked. Yeah. See. So what we're going to do now, we're going to try and take all of this out because it's on a sleeve. We need to take that out so we can plunge it. In a minute, it'll be in your living room, like with the wall out. Yeah, that's all right. What's he doing now? That's all right. <laughs> oh, when you get up in the morning and your garden full of water, what do you do? <laughs> Buy some fish. <laughs> But things are still not going Bill's way. It's just one, one of them things that happens, isn't it? Just uh, one of them days, isn't it? For the third time, Simon steps in and has a go. La, da, da. But this time, from another access point. I can feel that? it. I can feel it, yeah. She's gone. We have one satisfied customer today. Hallelujah. The heavens have parted. The water's flowing. Now, this is a cured system. This is now working perfectly. All care of me. Are you satisfied now? Yeah, great. I know we are. It's all very satisfying. The blasted blockage is no more. We've had one success. One success. It's not quality. Quality. It's quality. And I do quality work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.